Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 62 of Cross Atlantic Gaming. I'm your host, Risky the Kid, and joining me this week are my co-hosts, Chocolate Bear. How you doing? Moose. What's up, guys? And in our rotating fourth chair, community member, Kaboski. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's going on, Cabo? Good to have you back. This uh, podcast has been real UK heavy the last few weeks, so nice to have another uh, American on here. Yeah, thanks for having me again, guys. We tried uh, kicking chocolate out for the week, but he said no. So no, I had to get rid of Kate and uh, Chaotic, so I, I got locked in. It's true. Appreciate that. Um, first, before we get the show started, our good friend from the community, Chaotic, is working on a series of Borderlands. It's Borderlands 2, right? Uh, Borderlands Extravaganza. All right, so he's working on a bunch of Borderlands content for the YouTube channel. Uh, his first video is a top 10 best weapons video. Uh, it's really well done and super informative. So uh, I'll put a link for that in the show notes, but if you just go to our YouTube channel, uh, it should be the top video there right now. So check that out. And there's definitely more to come. I think he's doing a playthrough as well. Um, yeah, he's got a series coming out. Uh Two, I want to say in two weeks' time, and I think we'll be dropping it every other day or possibly consecutive days. So it's uh, it's looking good. I love it. They're, they're really well done, too. So if you want to get into Borderlands, check those videos out. They'll be super helpful. I'm using them myself. Good, good, good. I like it. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. Um, our Game Pass, I'll just talk about it now. Our Game Pass roulette game, which um, that discussion will be next week. So we've had a good long Game Pass roulette session. But that is Supermarket Shriek. So if you want to get in on that, we're currently posting our scores in the Game Pass roulette channel in our Discord. Um, what, one of you could help me out, what level are we doing the actual competition on? Is it the second one, the yeah. Fish Market, right? Fish yep, Market, exactly. yeah. Okay, and as of right now, I believe Moose is the the title holder. Right. He has I'm he has the fastest time at around sixteen ish. Sixteen point two or sixteen point three, I can't remember. Well I've got here sixteen point three one, which I, I need to beat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to get in on the action, join us on Discord for that, or um just tag us on Twitter or something with a screenshot of your times showing us that uh you beat Moose's time. Whoever gets the high, the fastest time, um, we'll give you a shout out next episode during our Game Pass Roulette talk. But uh, yeah, that's Supermarket Shriek. You still have one more week for any feedback, questions, that kind of stuff. Beat some high scores. And I gotta uh, say, Risky, it wasn't a perfect run, so there is, you know, there's room, room for, for improvement? improvement for sure. All right. I think so, somebody could probably break the 16 second barrier. All right. Hey, that's good to hear. Give us all a little bit of hope. Or you betcha. Big- fat liar and you just want us to keep losing be sad all the time hey you know i only played it about 25 times so <laughs> that, that honestly that's not too bad uh, ryan i think has probably played it well over like two or three thousand that's just <laughs> all he's been playing since this came out and uh he's probably just real upset that he can't beat your high score <laughs> yeah it's i don't know it's a strange game we'll talk about it more in the norm Excuse me, more next week. <laughs> <laughs> we will do all of those things that you just said for sure. Yeah, all them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, it's good to be back. All right, uh, another week in gaming. What have we all been playing? Um, let's start with a big one that looks like a lot of us got into this week and last. I know, Chocolate, you talked about it a little bit last week, but that is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Uh, Moose, how are you How are you liking MUA 3? Um. I was really liking it for, you know, a and good what happened. <laughs> 10 to 15 hours. I, I couldn't really put it down. As you reminded me, you, you must have really flew through this game or put some real garbage time in because you're at the same spot I'm in and you just started playing it like two days ago. <laughs> and uh, I'm still at that wall. I've been watching YouTube videos of how best to level up my character so that I can beat, I think that's the final fight in the uh, the story mode but then you go into the rifts and those fights are hard i can't get past like the level 10 one and all my guys are level 25 so i am uh, still trying to figure it out it's a really fun game but there's definitely a grind wall that i have hit and i believe most people are at right now yeah i got to that final fight or well what we think is the final fight right. i guess yeah um 
and I tried it with like different loadouts for people, different characters. I tried being like as precise as I could with everything. But uh, one part that kind of sucks is that if you are controlling a character and you're doing real well with your like dodges and stuff like that, because when you're when you dodge, you're invulnerable to damage. So right. you can get out of the way of things, you can keep attacking, and I think you can slowly whittle this enemy down. Um, but when you have the the NPC players, your teammates that you're not controlling, when they go down and it's like you, there was nothing you could do to keep them up. That kind of was getting on my nerves. Like if I ended up being either the last person alive or one right. of two people alive, it was kind of like, well, what was number three and number four doing this whole time? Spider-Man's dead. Hawkeye's dead. And I'm just here trying to beat this giant boss by myself. So that was kind of frustrating, but do the yeah. NPCs not revive? Uh, they uh, you will. have, what, three revives per level or something like that, and then they're just down for good? Yeah, so they, they do pick each other up, but okay. all they're doing is using up those three revives you get. So that's why I kind of thought I was at a point where it's like I need to play with other people so right. they can be <clears throat> dodging and actually playing this a little more skillfully than these less-than-average NPCs. And there are also, like, uh, maybe, like, five at the most a number of characters that can heal so you got to figure out which ones have healing capabilities and then just max out those stats because you know they keep you alive and revive you i also watched a video that said switch between characters when you're playing solo so then they will heal themselves but i have no idea how they do that i found the um all of a sudden the lab part of the secret menus so you know you could get that hexagon where you could level up your your health and your oh, what was the other stuff yeah it's like health strength uh mastery oh, that big web thing the big yeah. skill web yeah <clears throat> that that just came out i think i got to the second level and then all of a sudden that kind of popped up on my screen and i was like okay another part of this kind of another string to this game all right it but was uh, <clears throat> i think this game is still so new that there are no build videos or <laughs> best you know team videos that will tell you exactly what you need to do or what powers sh you should use for you know because i was trying to level up my characters and use whatever gems or whatever they call them to you know the best to utilize whatever character like i for instance i was trying to figure out what were the best ones for uh uh, Black Widow, because she was a character that I think you needed to use at some point. So, because at the beginning I just played with like four guys and leveled them up to like 20 and didn't even mess with any of the other ones. Then I went back and looked at the menu and it, I realized that all the players that you encounter or when they unlock, that's what level they start out at, whatever level you were. So, I've got some level characters that are level six and I've got some characters that I just unlocked at level 25. And, you know, it's that's going to be the hard part is grinding all your characters because I believe the levels max out at 100. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. So far away then. Exactly. So so that's kind of – so if they go all the way up to 100, that must just be for New Game Plus on, like, harder difficulties or something then? Because otherwise right. if we're towards the end of the game and we're, like, 25. And are you sure we're – close to the end of the game like did you look that up or i think so but because i think it has like um because i went back because i forgot i didn't find a couple of the rifts so then when you go in and look in the little like the gamma island or whatever it is the gamma planet there's like a the few chapter says, stuff. yeah there's still a lock on a couple of them so it tells you what chapter they're in and then you can go back into those chapters and find what you needed but I noticed when I did that, that there is a, a difficulty selection screen, kind of like uh, Division has. And there's more rewards unlocked for playing, you know, the harder difficulty. On a harder like, difficulty. Har exactly. Right. Okay. So that makes sense with the whole level thing. I was like, if we're at like 25-ish, maybe like 30 is recommended to beat the game on whatever the default right. difficulty. But for anything higher than that, I guess you're just going to want to level up more. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think they really want you to um, look into those uh, team bonuses. And then just, you know, my idea is to play through as the whole Spider-Man team and then play through as the X-Men and then play through as the classic Avengers and then play through as, you know, the, the new Avengers. Because you get, Not like... Not that we've spoiled any of the characters, FYI. Dude, there's, like, a million. You'd be fine. <laughs> I don't think I said anybody specifically, did I? Spider-Man no. characters. Yeah. You mm. ruined the whole game, Moose. <laughs> right. Uh 
as far as the leveling thing goes, how you were saying you get your new characters at whatever level you were at, right? Um, that kind of left me in a weird spot in the last fight because I really need, I feel like I need a good tank. I think a healer is definitely definitely necessary, but mm-hmm. having a solid tank uh, is ideal as well. And I was like, all right, well, hey, the Hulk, that right. makes sense. Went to go grab him, and he was like level six or yep, something, and it was exactly. like exactly. The amount of time it's going to, and I've been using though, you get like XP cubes where you can level up people without actually having to play with them. Right. But, oh, they're great. Yeah, but they're also kind of limited. I'm sure there's ways to get them uh, by doing like challenges and stuff. Yeah. Or in the rifts. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so you have that, but I haven't really, I think I did the very first rift and that's been it. Um, so I didn't have a ton of XP cubes for them. I got them up to like a 10. And it's like, well, you're not even halfway there yet. So. Yeah, uh, there's a, there's a couple of rifts in the, in the first planet or whatever it is that are pretty good for farming. Um, basically, the ones that give you waves of enemies. They say to basically give your biggest, you know, the three highest level characters and then bring whoever you want to level up in. And you'll level up like two levels every three minutes or so. Okay, so if I bring in like three level... 25s and then right. bring in my level 6 Hulk he's just going to level up right. super fast exactly. but everybody else is going to it's It'll like chocolate it's like exactly you put him in the backpack level him up power level the bear perfect oh a mode specifically created for me the whole love game it. you're going to have to do it yourself chocolate so <laughs> I guess we could try it... to play co-op we haven't done it yet so well funny I was just going to ask has anyone tried and uh, completed a, a co-op mission no I mean managed basically tried one night but we missed each other on discord he sent me a message that said invite me to a game and i saw it like 30 minutes later and by the time and I, I figured it out yeah. he's like yeah i'm over it <laughs> i wasn't over it it, it was, was like, like almost 12 30 at night so your I time was, yeah yeah I, I was ready to to call it i don't i mean moose and i've been busy these last few weeks oh, yeah. okay chocolate you Dude, my set kids need to go back to school ultimate alliance three so, co-op well, I, games. I, I tried with <laughs> randoms and it just failed miserably <laughs> it's always the worst yeah. time, some help yeah. No, oh, N- Nintendo doesn't like you playing with randoms. They they want to protect people from that. Well, I, I liked. I pressed the button, and all of a sudden, my phone pinged up and went, "This game is even better with our app." And I was like, "No, oh, it's geez. not. Trust me, it's you not." You want to no. bet? <laughs> <laughs> I will show you. I will uh, delete yeah. your app. Um. Yeah, the game overall, though, I think is really good. It's a great hack and slash game with lots of different characters. Tons. Um. And more to come. There's like a season pass that has. I don't know how many more characters coming. Uh, I think it's the. Nope, I'm not going to remember. There's right. th- there's three pieces of the season pass though, and they're all going to have new characters. I know one of them was X Men, and that's exciting because there's already a couple X Men that uh, show up in the game but aren't playable. So I think they unlocked them, didn't they? Colossus and or, Beast are they not or Cyclops. Yet? Yeah, they might Cyclops. not be. Um, they're they're going to be soon for free. I read something about that a few weeks ago. Yeah, I'm sure Colossus. We mentioned it last week. Mm-hmm. I think it was Colossus Blade, and again for the life of me, one of the names escapes me. But someone else. And those I are think, the those are the free ones that are coming. Right, yeah, relatively three. F- yeah, re- I'm, I'm not sure, sure if the Blade been. is part of the free one or if it's. I think Blade is part of the first DLC pack, oh, and it's like three pack. three characters. Like I want to say maybe it was like Van Helsing, Blade, and something else. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there was also, I mean, on top of the X Men, there was the, um, or the ones that you were talking about that were free for the X Men. There's also a whole X Men uh, expansion as well. So you're gonna get a bunch of those characters. Hopefully, we get some Gambit action. That's right. All that's all I'm ever really He's looking for. He's always getting no love in any of the games. Is I don't get it. He's the best best character out there. <sighs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's good though, and uh, we'll we'll have to link up at some point, uh, some of us to try to get through that, because I hit that game pretty hard on vacation, and uh, now it's kind of I'm not playing it as much <laughs> because of that wall. So so here, here's the characters that are coming up in the first oh. DLC. It's uh, Blade, Punisher, Moon Knight, and Morbius. Oh, so, good old Morbius. Yeah, Perfect. I don't know who that is. Nope, <laughs> looks like some sort of vampire. Yeah, that's right. It's coming out around Halloween, I believe. So that's their their theme, I think. Yeah, Colossus and Cyclops free update August thirtieth. There you go. That yep. Those those are the two I was thinking of. Cool. Um, as far and as Loki and Cabo, if you're not playing this, why not? Well, that's a good question. 
because I got Fire Emblem that I got the week. Was it a week after or two weeks after? It was a week after. Okay. And you probably also had uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Yes. Yeah, I looked at my release calendar for this <laughs> for this month, and it was literally Dragon Quest Builders, Mar- Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and then Fire Emblem. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> so. Dude, have you seen September? No, Moose, and I don't want to. Oh, okay. I already told my wife it's going to be an expensive month. <laughs> I'm sure she was thrilled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, September's going to be rough. She's been with me for like three weeks straight. I think she's had enough. She's like, ready to go back to buy, work. Buy all the video games you want. <laughs> just, just go like, hide and play yeah, them away. Just go take a break from me, okay? <laughs> uh, Can I bring those releases forward, please? Uh, that's amazing. Right? Um, yeah. Um, anyone else have anything to touch on the Ultimate Alliance 3? Uh, did you notice the cutscenes? No matter which characters you have... It's their specific yeah. cutscene, which is slightly annoying. Yeah, so I wrote that down in my notes. I was like, there's a weird disconnect when <laughs> Wasp is asking Miss Marvel if she thinks Wasp is going to be okay or See, something. Like, that's that was the one I ran into. It's like, hey, do you think Wasp is going to be okay? And she was talking to Wasp. So, like, that, that was kind of weird. But then I think the part you were talking about with the cutscenes, was it, like, the spider gwen i think was up on a rooftop talking about how crazy that mission we just went through was and it's like no you weren't even there what yeah i was rocking the uh the new avengers or old avengers i was like oh please right please. so yeah uh, i definitely noted that because i thought it was kind of kind of weird it, but it, it planted a seed in the back of my head that i never acted on but i was just wondering is that the team they want you to be playing with right now is that the ideal you know well, it seems like the way they push you through the game and you meet the new characters, right. I think they want you to switch out, or it feels like they're pushing you to switch out to that team. But then, why would you go from the Avengers to, you know, this week? Yeah, the story of, jumps all over the place. Screw it's, continuity. Who needs right, it? yeah. I think well, they just kind of took their favorite parts of all the stories and made their own up. Yeah, or like how, I mean, the Guardians of the Galaxy obviously play probably the biggest role in this. Right. But they'll kind of just like show up at the end of missions and be like, oh my god, that was crazy. And you're like, no, you were not <laughs> selected for this mission. Go away. <laughs> but. I think it, it, the fun is probably going to be where we, we all join up one night and play co-op and just smash and grab, basically. Yep. Yeah. Smashing and grabbing. That was a weird note to end that on. Sorry. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, Moose, you got to dabble in the Gears 5 uh, tech test that was this past weekend? Yes. I uh, This weekend? Something. Yep. yep. How's that looking? It's it's looking gorgeous. Um, I'm terrible at Gears multiplayer, but uh, some team got stuck with me, and I don't know if we won or lost at the end of it, but it looks great. And basically, it's you know it's just like Gears Four multiplayer, but new maps and the, I think the weapons are all the same too. So I'm not a huge Gears player, but it was fun for what it was. And but I but there's will... a gun with a chainsaw. Oh yeah, there's multiple. <laughs> Perfect. So, and that's, oh, that's yeah. All we there's need. <laughs> there's uh like there's like kill scenes because it's just like every other shooter multiplayer game right now. You down people and then they can crawl away, but you can do like the the finisher scenes on the guys that are down and you can literally just cut people in half or if they, there's like probably like five or six different cut scenes that go on while you're you're murdering people it's pretty cool i love it some of those scenes are so great right. cutting people in half good stuff um yeah looks good though that's really all i was oh, trying yeah. to try, try and, like gears it feels 4 good looks was good beautiful right gears 5 can't look worse so exactly and it's on game pass so it feels like you're stealing I, That's so good. The best form of stealing. Right. I like it. Um, are you guys? Is everybody getting Gears Five when it comes out? Well, it's it's not yeah, Game, Game Pass, Pass, right? We yeah. all are. Right. I, I answered my own question before I <laughs> am, asked my own question. All right, stupid me. Good job. Um, <laughs> Tech test is going on until Monday as well. Yeah, it's right. public. You still right? got a couple. T- I think it's like just over ten gigs to download, so it's not going to take too long. And it is public, or do you public. have to have yeah, a pre-order uh, or be a Game Pass gold. person? Do you have to have gold? Oh, that's it? Okay, yep. cool. Um, so, for anyone listening live, that uh, information is useful. For everybody listening to this on Tuesday, sorry. sorry. Missed, it. Right. Missed out. 
Whoops. Um, all right, let's move on to Cabo playing some Divinity Original Sin 2. This game has been out for a while. Why, yes. why are you getting back to it? Uh, Castle will kill Shine and one of Shine's local friends, Phil. We all decided to do a co-op campaign for it. Oh, awesome. I think it's yes. like S- Spectro Blasto on yeah. games, right? Uh, Phil, I think his first name is. But yes, <laughs> yeah, Spectro Blasto or something like that. But yeah, uh, we had none of us have ever beaten it yet, and we just been kind of like talking about Dungeons and Dragons a lot of the time. So during that, we decided just say, hey, well, why don't we just play this game? Co-op is kind of very similar to it, and like kind of create your own story and how like the combat is, and it's very like tactile kind of RPG game. Yeah, I I tried playing one I think way back when, and I couldn't really get into it. I don't know is. This isn't the free one, isn't it? is it? Is that? There's another yeah. one like this that's free. Is it Pillars of Eternity, Pillars, maybe? Yeah. Or Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, but that's not free either. Is oh, it? No, then it's the. There's Wasteland then there's a third one. <laughs> yeah, I think you're talking about uh, Wasteland Two. No, it's the one that's not Beastmaster. Conan. Is that one free? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Uh, the only one I can know that's on Game Pass that's kind of very similar to it is Wasteland Two. Right, and that's more like more post-apocalyptic. Like, yeah, that's more like the Fallout with like guns style. and stuff. Right. Yeah. Maybe not what I'm talking about then. Um, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, forgive me. I've been out of this for <laughs> a little bit here. <laughs> um, cool, man. Glad you're enjoying that. Um, are mm-hmm. you guys just doing that on a set night every week or something like that? Yeah, every Wednesday night, we uh, put a couple of hours into it, and well, excuse me, sorry, we'll be. Uh, probably at this for like another like couple months with I was it. Say, that's it's, a big game it's a, right yeah it's a very long game story wise so it's like two hours maybe two plus hours will it'll take us to get through it so uh, i think it's probably like a 30 40 plus hour long game nice and is uh is castle streaming this every wednesday i know he's back on yes. his uh mixer games so that's mixer.com slash castle will kill i'm assuming yeah um, I don't know if he does any numbers in his uh, gamer tag or anything like that. I think it's yeah, all in one word. Castle will kill. I think it's all a- alphabetical characters. I know people put ones for eyes or right. whatever. So I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, cool. So if people want to watch one of these fun gaming nights on Wednesday nights, uh, you guys can head over there support Castle, um, new member of the community actually. So shout out to him. Um, all right, cool. Anything else you want to add to that, Cabo? No. Uh, I feel like where we're at now, I, we should have been like a lot further, but it is what it is. We have a bunch of resets because a lot of times we, one of the things in the game is like, ra- there's, I don't want to say people are racist in the game, but like people are very <laughs> feared of like some of the races, like skeletal uh, yeah. races, the undead. Like if you are walking around as an undead, they, some people like freak out and start attacking you and two castle and specto are both the undead race. And we go into this village or like this hideout and those two reveal that they're undead and we just ended ended up getting into a fight. <laughs> That's so good. People were supposed to be helping us. Right. It's fun. But huh. yeah, other than that, yeah, it's it's a it's a blast. It's I always look forward to playing on every Wednesday because I one, I want to get this game done. I've always wanted to beat it. And two, playing co-op is actually make that game a lot more, a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, and I think having a set schedule and like people to hold you accountable, you'll actually you will get done with or through it eventually. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's move to Moose. We'll go back to you. Blazing Chrome. This is that um, Contra-like game. Yeah. Correct? It's good. New in Game Pass or day and date with Game Pass, right? Right, it just got dropped last week, I think. It was while I was gone, so I'm kind of out of the loop like you are. Yep. But it was new to me, so I downloaded it, and I was just literally, I got new internet while I was out of town, so I should have less issues, hopefully. Get that good stuff? I that got good, the good, good, good. Yeah, you know I did. Nice, dude. Now I just got to figure out how to get it hardwired. Uh, Ethernet cable, generally. Well, Yes. But we're, we're, my house has, like, wiring for it. We just have to, you know, chase and trace things. So my wife and I may tackle that one weekend and actually get the whole house plugged into things. Wish I was could do that. That would, probably would have saved me a lot of money at this point. <laughs> it's 
So, but um, Blazing Chrome, it's good. It's it's just like Contra. Uh, it's it's hard. It's really hard. I made it through the first level, and I think I made it to the boss fight of the second level, and I keep dying. And literally, you have five times of getting touched, and you start over. And then you start the level over, right? It's yeah. not like a roguelike where no, you go well, back to the beginning or anything. Like you don't very, go all the way back beginning. to the beginning. Like there's little bit of checkpoints. Like once you get to the boss fights, there's a checkpoint right before the boss fight. But before that, yeah, you run through the whole level again. Okay. Yeah, so. I mean that's fair. Um, I think so. I played a little bit of this when I was at PAX. Is this um? Is there a button you can hold to stop your character from moving? Yes. So uh, that you can shoot? Because that was correct. like the one big difference I noticed from like OG Contra, where you literally have to be kind of moving in the direction that you want to be right. shooting. Yep. Um, I remember so, that button was pretty. And paddles pretty are pretty key on this game because the way that you've got me set up my paddles with A and X underneath, X is shoot and A is jump. So. Um, you know, I'm just using that, the thumbsticks. Yeah, that's, that's perfect, man. And then the right bumper basically will lock down your character and then let you shoot your gun wherever you need to. Yeah, I thought that's a super smart addition. Right. Um, if you're going to bring a game forward like this far or make a game that's modeled around something old, so old, it's nice to bring forward some of those new additions uh, right. that make the gameplay a little smoother, a little more fun. Yep, they added a dodge roll also. So, like, you can, um, if you get it down right, you push down and towards the direction that you're running, and you'll dodge roll through bullets or underneath guys or whatever and can come up from behind and shoot them. And that's, you're invulnerable, I'm assuming? Right, yeah. As far as I know, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting hit every time. Right. Because it, it, like, stops down the game if you get hit and then just basically drops you back in and you have, like, two seconds of invulnerability to get to a safe spot, and then you're fair game again. And then... The last thing I had, what is like, what's the aesthetic, or like, what, what time period are you in, or anything like that? Is it like weird post-apocalyptic machines it, are taking yeah, over future kind of stuff? It is. It's it's kind of Terminator-ish, right at the beginning of Terminator. Okay. So kind of modern times, but the robots have taken over, and there's also giant bugs and things as well. So so Skynet starts, and so yeah. does Blazing Crow. Yeah, and you know, you just shoot everything on the screen, and then run through the ones that flash, and they give you power ups and bonuses, and there's there's a depth to the game that I haven't even unlocked yet. You can, it's kind of like um, Moonlighter where you can unlock or buy things, or uh, Necro Dancer where you can unlock and buy things that stay on as a buff or a shield or something like that. But you've got to collect currency and then um, basically you can buy those things and then they stay on you, and then like you go from there. You know what it, I mean? Is that until you die? And then right. you like lose them? Okay, yeah, exactly. Right. Gotcha. Oh, not even until you die, until you get touched, and then you lose them. But there's oh, like, okay. yeah, there's like five power up bonuses up in up in your upper left corner that I've only filled in like three of the slots before I've gotten touched. Nice. So, so it sounds like it should be it like the difficulty level is right where it should be, kind of that yeah. super or hard to super hard ish. Exactly. Yeah. Good deal. So, I suggest people download it and try it. It's you know, it's it's a good nostalgia type game and it's pretty challenging. And it's in Game Pass. Exactly. So why not? Free. Faux free. Why not download it? Um all right. Cabo stepped out for a minute, so I'm trying to avoid him quick. Um well, Risky, why don't you tell me about a game? Let's see. Um, well, I, yeah, it was gonna be Fire Emblem, but uh no, I'll not, wait for I Cabo. Hear, I wanna hear about you and Geralt. I heard you, oh. you went down the road with Geralt again. Do you want to hear about my seventh time meeting the Bloody Baron? Most definitely. I want to hear what you did with the botchling this time. Oh, the poor <laughs> botchling. I, I don't think I've ever harmed the botchling. I don't think I did either. It's something about it. It just it's, it still has right. like an umbilical cord and stuff. It's, it's a like, tiny little baby that it's, you yeah. know, has already gotten a raw <laughs> deal. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't, I started playing The Witcher 3 again. I don't, it was kind of like this perfect, uh, bunch of circumstances that lined up. Like, I built this new computer, uh, The Witcher TV show on Netflix finally had a trailer, and I was like, man, I do need to play that soon. Uh, and then the complete edition was on sale for like 10 or $11 on, uh, good old games, I think is where I got it. And it was just like all these, like there's so many reasons for me to be playing this right now, so I might as well. So you're playing it on PC now? Yeah, so this is my first time playing okay. on PC. So so I'm getting, so I'm in 
4K, getting 50-ish frames per second. It's really funny because I was looking because once you go to the other side, Moose, and you're the master race. I'm working on it, yeah. <laughs> You, you sometimes have to read through whole Reddit threads to figure out the best the settings, settings for games. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's obnoxious. But that's why I'm, gl- the... I'm glad you're uh, you know blazing the trail for me, and I can just say, "Hey, Risky, yeah, well... what's the best for?" <laughs> <laughs> Let me figure this all out for you first. Perfect. Um, I was just perusing through Reddit for this stuff, and someone was like, "Turn the Nvidia hair graphics or something all the way down." I did that and gained like 15 frames per second just by having like no super stylized hair physics in my game. Like it looks, it still looks, looks fine. completely fine, yeah. but now you just don't see like every individual strain of hair on or strand of hair on his head and beard and stuff. It's a real weird thing, Moose, having to deal with stupid settings like. I should probably turn Geralt's beard down because otherwise my frame rate's going to drop. So That is nuts. That's been weird. Um, but I started the game over because... Uh, that's what you do with The Witcher. That's all I've yeah. ever done with The Witcher. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all do with The Witcher. <laughs> I'm I don't still know. The Red Baron. Has, has anybody cl- finished the game? Because I think I've played it I for have. 10 hours like three different times. You yeah, did. I beat. I actually beat it twice. I decided to try to go for a third route and <laughs> just stopped at the Red Baron area. <laughs> I don't know so un- unlike you, I get to the Red Baron every single time, uh, and then eventually I just stop for some reason. And this is probably the worst I've been about this game with as far as like OCD goes, because I opened up my map and there's literally like a hundred question marks just in Velen from me going up to bullets and boards and picking every single thing up and then it's like oh this lady's husband's missing it better go find it oh he's a werewolf or like hey oh we, that one we, we lost some treasure out in the sea better go find it and luckily enough those have uh level restrictions well not restrictions required where you should be at right. so it's kind of nice so you kind of like could differentiate like okay i can't really go to this one yet because it's at level 20 and i'm level 10 but unless yeah. unless I'm wrong, when you come up, when you have the question marks on the map, you have no idea what the level of that area oh, is, yeah. do you? Yeah, until you go expose the quest. Yeah. So so yeah, it's like I've I've run into a few spots where I get to a question mark that's like out on an island somewhere, and then there's like a level twenty ring wraith scary monster thing, and then it's like, well, I can't do this, and I just spent how long trekking myself over here. Uh, so that's been fun, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I can't stop. I think I'm probably a good 15 hours into this and it's only been, and I was on vacation. So that's a significant amount of my gaming time that hasn't been on my switch. It's pretty much just all been Witcher three. Uh, I'm really hoping this is, this is the one, but (laughs) (laughs) we shall see (laughs) my track record says I'm probably done. But uh, I want to go play right now, so maybe that's uh, maybe things are looking up. You know, you're gonna Ooh. get it on Switch when it comes out. Yeah, oh, yeah, because that'll be after I stop this playthrough. It'll be oh, it's on Switch. I'll definitely get through it this time <laughs> at 540p. Nothing like going from yeah. 2k down to <laughs> that. Well, good news is you don't have to worry about the hair physics. That's true. No sliders. Yeah, yeah it'll for just that be on blocks. the Switch. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Witcher Minecraft. Witcher. <laughs> uh, yeah, that game's fantastic, though. Just make sure... I don't know, dude. It's it's like a game that you need to sit down and you need to have the time and dedication because right. there's so much quality in that one package. Like, if there's one game that you could just play for the year, back in the day when you were a kid, you got one game, and that one game had to get you through a whole year of gaming, this would have been it in 2015. Without a doubt, the amount of stuff, the amount of quality in each little thing, too. It's just, it's incredible. And one of these days, I will get through it, I swear to God. (laughs) We'll see. All right, Cabo, you're here. Let's talk some Fire Emblem Three Houses. This came out this past Friday, right? Yes. Yeah, a couple days ago. Um, How are you liking Fire Emblem? Have you played, you've played some of the older games at least, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I start. I got into Fire Emblem on Awakening for the 3DS. Yeah, okay, that was my first one as well. So, cool. Did you I think pl- that's a lot of people's first ones, actually. 
I, yeah, I don't know if that's when it became kind of relevant over here or what. I'm sure people like Shine have probably been playing him for years, but he's also like 50 years older than us or something, I think, right? Right, right <laughs> around there. You son of a oh. gun. <laughs> just messing. Mic drop. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if that was just kind of like – everybody's around our age is like first fire emblem did you play any of what was the one after that echoes did you play any fates. echoes oh uh, it's echoes is the one before three houses there is one called fates which is the conquest and birthright which is the one where you like picked which side of the family two separate f- games right side with on the ward yeah yeah that one that was the one i got when it first came out and then i uh oh geez now my dog wants to play <laughs> but uh uh what the heck was i say yeah that one was like two separate games and it has like a dlc third game and then echoes was i think it was like a remake of an older one okay so yeah i skipped echoes i did awakening and then when i knew that they were making a mainline game for the switch it was kind of like all right i don't need to play any fire emblem until that comes out and yeah. then it came out uh what it's do you finally th- here what do you think I like it so far. It's, uh, I mean, there's not much combat right now. You're, you're not really going through much of strategy. It's more kind of being a professor. There's my dog. Hey, pop. <laughs> it's just nice looking at me. Uh, you're playing like professor simulator for most of the time with like a, one of the schools. Like, well, one of the. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm kind of used to not say used to it, but it's not like I haven't done this before with like Persona Five or Persona Four, where you kind of go through like a day to day as, like a like a kid and then was in school you've gone so way weirder huh cops <laughs> <laughs> he's gone way weirder than fire him <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's not like i mean like you still like there's benefits with like i'm not saying like perks with like training your students they build up their abilities with school but it's yeah it's very slow if you don't if it's all you care about is the combat yeah, because that's, I feel like, I think my clock said I'm three and a half hours in, and I've had one, one battle, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure, and it was I like s- the mock battle between the three houses. Yeah, I am probably five, six maybe, and I think... I th- You've done I'm one sh- more battle than me? <laughs> two more. Two? Uh, yeah, I, it's going to be three maybe, because it's going to be, th- no, actually, just one more. I, st- I stopped uh, earlier today, <laughs> and when I'm at a save, is we're right before another battle, so it's going to be two, I guess you would say. So oh, it's man. worse than Xenoblade? Yeah, I knew you would, you'd probably be like, there's no fighting. Oh, man. Yeah, you should probably stay away from this one. This one, I uh. Should. Well, it's. I don't know, because if you're me, like me or Cabo, I'm assuming, it's kind of if anyone has a little speech bubble above their head when you're at the commissary thing, it's like you need to go talk to them. Like, I need to get mm-hmm. every single person's oh, yeah. story. And that's the thing. You have your house that you chose. So it's it's Fire Emblem three houses, obviously. You're a professor, and you need to teach for or be the head of one of these three houses, which is a real big choice to have to make at the very mm-hmm. – I mean, not the very beginning of the game. You kind of have a chance to go out and talk to each head of the class and all the students and whatever. Um Did you – So is this Harry um, Potter teacher edition? Harry Pretty Potter. much. Yeah, it's – you're – yeah, nailed it. <laughs> Sounds like a rip-off of Nine Parchments to me, but what do I do? <laughs> yeah, you are nailed that right uh, there. Here we go. <laughs> um, it, yeah, I, when you did, like, when you, like, after you, uh, spoiler alert, I guess, I don't think you two really care, but when you, like, <laughs> save the kids from, like, the bandits. It's like, then, that's, like, like they, the very first mission in the game. Like Yeah, like, the intro, how, half how hour, the heck do yeah. you play this game, here's what you do, here's how you move, attack, whatever. And after you talk to them and they kind of give you like that three options, I thought that was the house selection. So did I. So I had, I was on YouTube and Google and I was like, I need to know more about these stupid houses before I just pick one and get locked in for the next 50 hours with this one house. Yeah. And so I went over to my fiance cause I was kind of like in like not deciding which house I wanted to do. So I was like, honey, pick which color, red, yellow, or blue. <laughs> just pick a color. She just goes, she's like red. I'm like, all right, I'm going with the black Eagles. Yeah, which is Should've funny. Should have picked gold. That was the runner-up for me. That was I my runner-up too, actually. Dimitri and the the whatever the blue team is. He's kind of seems like a. I don't know. There's he's the Snape. I, I don't know what yeah. what word to use. It isn't colorful. He's <laughs> he doesn't seem very fun to play with. So dry. Uh, yeah, sure. Like all about being like the 
king or like all about war and all that stuff. Yeah, because so he's, he's like, a prince. I must go to my studies and everything. Yeah. So the best character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Chocolate. If you play this game, Dimitri and the Blue House team, right up your alley. Definitely do Blue that. Lines. Cool. Yes. Got it. Chocolate's um, never gonna play this game. Hell no. Harry Potter Teacher Edition, though, thank you. <laughs> hey, there's some combat in there, too. But yes. yeah, so when you're at the, it sounds like at the end of each month, so you have like a calendar, and then there's a few days on that month where you can either like free roam or teach classes. Um, just different ways to level up your houses or get to know people more and uh, increase the bonds with some of your students, which will make them. I'm assuming that makes them like better in combat and stuff. I wouldn't know because I've only done one. Th- Thing of combat <laughs> so i think so yeah like you'll I, they also like when you teach like when you kind of do like your lectures throughout each of the week they build up their skills on let's say like swords axe magic uh lances and that will like let them buy like or you, they can equip like better equip better equipment for that style i guess like a better axe a better sword so but other than that yeah it's I mean, you could do an auto, so they could do like an auto teach, so you don't have to go through all that stuff. You just hit it and then let it do its thing. And that's the thing: if you if you're just into the combat, you can totally hit that auto mode, and then you probably would have <laughs> already been through. Like, Cobble, you've been playing for five hours. You've gone through two of the major battles. If somebody was yep. autoing those five hours, they probably would be halfway through the game already. So, I, oh yeah, they they can skip through all the cutscenes. They don't even have to worry about talking to anyone. There's little, so like during each, I guess, what is it? saturday you can do free roam on the campus and you, they have like side quests you can do or you can bond with your students by like either having food doing choir practice or doing choir are you guys sold yet yeah uh yeah it sounds like the, the fast forward button i might be closer <laughs> to buying it now. The worst. <laughs> yeah. yeah we're really selling this to you guys it's the, i mean i feel like if you've played a fire emblem game before or like you said if you've played uh it was a Persona 5 was the most recent one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if you've played that kind of stuff, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Or if you like the combat in a game, like a newer game, like Wargroove, or if you just want combat, maybe just go play Wargroove. Because <laughs> isn't that also uh, like a grid-based? Yeah, I think a lot of people like, kind of compare yeah. those two together with like how yeah. the combat is exactly. So, yeah, I mean, that's the kind of combat you're getting uh, yourself into. But all the stuff around it, all the fluff, if you don't like... Oh, you don't even have to read this time around. Actually, everything is voiced, mm-hmm. which I did not expect at all. Every character is voiced, so every discussion you have, um, and you can put it on auto, so it just has the whole conversation. I don't know why the default wouldn't be that if it's voice acted, but dude, it's, if I put it on auto, I would be asleep in about sixteen <laughs> minutes, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it's full uh, voice acting because, like, the previous ones, I know you obviously said you played like awakening or the fates ones like every time they said something they always do like a exaggeration like noise like oh and then like the text would just show up <laughs> yep. shortly <laughs> after i'm like okay so that's nice i don't know i mean this is a good game for people to like fire emblem i think that's what it comes down to mm-hmm. um i missed that train <laughs> that train left a while I ago i can try but i'm just you know it's, yeah it's a very good game it's gonna be a really long one from what they the critics have been saying and from like the early impressions that it took like some people up to 80 hours right, to for complete. one house yep and then you go back and play the other two houses so that's it sounded the one thing i got from some of the reviews that there's a like a critical point midway through the story where at that point each story's or each house's story gets like vastly different but it sounds like the majority of the first half of the game is kind of like been here done that kind of so that might be when you mm-hmm. utilize some of that I'm assuming Auto the stuff. critical point is outside, like one school. I don't. No one's gonna care, but schools like out. S- yeah, schools <laughs> out, Summer. kind of situation. Yeah, exactly. I'm riveted. Like, Sorry, it's we- before and after school kind of thing. <laughs> oh, me too. At the the flagpole type stuff. Yeah, exactly. got it. <laughs> Uh, sorry, yeah, Moose, we can move on. the crap out of you at the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a lunch money, nerd. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, booze. Fine. Tell us about Breath of the Wild then. That forty-year-old game. First like of all, four, let's revisit three. the fact that uh, Chocolate returned this game to GameStop. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm fine with us bringing that up every single episode because that's yes. just like a cardinal well, sin in the gaming dude, world at this point. What the hell? Did you even try it? 
<laughs> yeah, this is good. It for me. It's really good. It wasn't handholdy d- enough. Guaranteed. <laughs> there was no yeah, professors yeah, in school. <laughs> Listen, I got two great games out of trading those in, and a few average size games. But I'm happy that you don't touch because all you play is Gunman Clive, and it's derivatives. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> There's all nothing sorts, but that's that. another show. The, the, yeah, that's my issues. So, so yeah. what what made you get back into Breath of the Wild? I guess is six my hour question. plane flights. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't even play it on the plane at all. So <laughs> I literally oh, like so, my, that makes no sense. Yeah, like on the flight out there, my daughter's like tablet wasn't working or something, and my wife gave me the puppy dog eyes and was just like, "Can she play your Switch?" And I'm like, "You know, that's my Switch, right? Not her Switch. Not today. Nobody else's Switch. That's my Switch. Oh, I forked it over." Yeah, and so, yeah, she played Mario Kart, and she actually ended up getting first place in a 50cc race. Would I was super oh, impressed yeah. and proud of her. Proud but, daddy moment. Exactly. But uh, I once I got to the in-laws' house, I, I fired it up and put some good time in there, uh, ignoring people and you know hiding in my room. Like you do. Yes. So uh, I uh, I made it to the Divine Beasts, and I made it to the first one, which is I, I, it was an elephant. I want to say in the okay. like most northwest corner of the map. The water people? Mm, possibly, yes. And uh, then I got summons to go tend to a baby or chase kids in the yard or something. So, like uh, you do. In the game or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not in the game. <laughs> in real life. And so then I got home from the, the trip and Ultimate Alliance was waiting for me. So I haven't been back yet. So like The Witcher Three, you yeah, were just I'll just... probably restart it again in about a year. Did so. you restart it this time or no? Yeah, I did. I did? started okay. over. I deleted my save and started fresh. So I, it's a good thing because I I kept trying to go back to it and I couldn't remember the combat, let alone you know the side jumps, the backflip, all that stuff. I had no idea what I was doing, so I would just get smashed by the first enemies I'd see and spend about two hours doing that and then switch to a different game. So. Yeah, that that would make me switch to a different game too. I think. <laughs> But I'm getting pretty decent with the combat and, you know, the evade tactics and all that. And I, The only thing I really don't like, and it's just part of the RPG, is how the weapons break down and, you know, right in the middle of a fight when you've got a really awesome weapon, it'll smash in half and then you've got to use a club to beat the crap out of this guy for the next I'm, 20 minutes. I always, like, keep, like, my favorite weapons, like, I just never wield just them. Just don't never use them. Use them. <laughs> just because <laughs> I don't want to. No, that one's too shiny and too sharp. Yeah, this has way too much damage. I don't want to lose this just so I can beat those stupid red goblin looking things. But, like, can you beat those rocks? Because I just run from them every time. The ones with, like, the laser beams and stuff? No, like the giant rocks. Oh, like the people. golems? Yeah. Because I just run from them at I, this yeah, point. I feel like I, I just, just ran from them as well. Because <laughs> they just throw giant boulders at you that take away your whole life if you get hit. So. You're like, no, nah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As soon as the rocks start moving, I just run the other way. <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, chocolate. Shame on you. That's about it. Just need to get some uh, chocolate <laughs> ribbing in there quick. Exactly. You still there, chocolate? No more. <laughs> no more Breath of the Wild talk. It's done. No, I'm gonna finish the game, and we'll talk about that. Maybe that'll years? be around the same time that I finish <laughs> yeah. The Witcher Three. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who's we'll gonna see. beat their game first? Oh, now it's a race. It's on. Uh, I have a, oh. like a uh, three person handicap uh, yeah whatever so excuses are excuses i know i'll just ignore my family see what my wife no we're not going to do that yeah. that's right. fine Move. It, end up with a, an apartment and a geo metro or something but hey you at least beat breath of the wild think of all the free time i'd probably lose the switch in a divorce <laughs> <laughs> but keep the God. games <laughs> Yeah, I get the cartridges. <laughs> she gets the console. That just means well, you're you gonna get sh- the new, updated, better switch. battery life switch. But oh, yeah. while we're talking we'll switch about light. switch, um, me and Risky tried something out that some people may be interested in. Risky, oh, you share. We're gonna talk about this live on the air. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I want people to know. Yeah, go for it. Do I need to um, put this at 18 plus, guys? Oh, oh it no. already is. Yeah. Well, the bicycle horns coming out. No, we uh, tested out the whole game share thing on nintendo and it works oh cool so it's so. it's pretty much i mean there's it huh, i don't there's know if we're doing it right hang-ups. there's definitely some limitations some restrictions you kind of need to know what you're getting yourself into but essentially all we did was logged into each other's accounts on our switches right so 
if I'm logged in as Moose, I can go to uh, like the eShop. I can download any game that he's bought before. And then as long as he's not online, I can play his games. On my profile. You have to on, be on, on his profile. Part, yeah. Right. So it's like I'm not gaining progress under my account. Like, w- And there's no achievements or anything right. with Nintendo, so that's not a huge deal. And the saves um, are fine. You can turn off the cloud capability if you want, but it'll save it onto your hard drive. I was going to say saves are local, aren't right. they? Yeah, so, so like that that works. <laughs> um, and that, So the only real snag you're going to get caught up on is if there's an online game. Like That's right. the thing. I, I don't suggest this for like online multiplayer games because then none of, you're not going to be able to play with each other, obviously. Right. So like if one of us bought Mal- Marvel Ultimate Alliance, we couldn't both play it because it was only one copy or whatever. Yeah, it's not um, a solution that your all your family can play the same game at the same time. That, yeah. that won't work. Um, but the one trick that we kind of found was that whenever we're playing on each other's accounts or something, if you just put your Switch into airplane mode, right. then we can potentially both be playing the same game at the same time because... Just not together. Everything's offline. Right, just not together. And Well, because cool, you're offline, so you couldn't play together anyways. Um, but So if you're doing that, uh, it really doesn't affect anything, it seems like. So like I bought Fire Emblem on Friday, and if Moose just starts it up offline under my name, I can be playing it as well offline or online either or because his stuff's off so it doesn't even matter um uh, but it's yeah i don't know it's super easy and i don't think anyone's really doing it and i'm also not sure what the limitations are uh, uh there was that one thing that was like you have like a three and a half hour window once you go offline oh. and then um yes. once that three and a half hours is up they need to verify the account that's playing the game so you just connect to a wi-fi and it verifies it unlocks the game for you again and you just go straight back into airplane mode and i believe you have another three hours or three and a half hours right and the nice thing is at the two and a half hour mark it actually gives you a warning like in a half hour we have to like halt progress in this game because you have to get online to verify that this is your account um i don't know it's it's a few it's a couple little easy things to get by for being able to split some games so so this would be great for by just single Single player games, story driven games. Yeah, I, essentially anything or that you don't want to play also. together. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Uh, which is, in my opinion, most of my Switch library. I don't play, I rarely play multiplayer stuff on my Switch. So, right. The only issue I might see with Couch Co op is I tried to put my Switch in airplane mode while it was docked and it won't let you do it. So, you have to disconnect it from the internet, I believe, if you're going to dock it. Oh, okay. Uh, that was another <laughs> another thing I realized uh, is that you can't have your Joy Cons off of your Switch when you're in airplane mode. I tried doing that oh, on yeah. the well, plane. <laughs> you, you can turn on the Wi Fi after airplane mode. It's off, I believe, or on. That's okay. what I do with my phone. Yeah, I didn't even have Wi Fi on the flight, so oh, I was okay. just kind of was like, well, I I just want to set this down here and then put my hands down in my lap or something, right. but I couldn't, so. That That's why you fun. Put, always put a pro controller in the backpack, bro. Yeah, and I had plenty of room. I don't know why I didn't. I messed up. <laughs> I'm learning. But it also goes dead with all the other stuff pushing its buttons. So True. All right. Um, well, let's get into our last game, uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Cabo, what? <laughs> yeah, What's what? going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I would I... like a story, please. Yes. Is this the first-person shooter one? <laughs> no. So it's... It's third person, but it's oh, sorry. probably the same one you're yeah, thinking of. Is. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, so PlayStation is having a sale going on this week right now. It's their, I, th- I think it's like a couple weeks in a row they're going to have some big sales on a lot of their games. And they have they, like a bunch of EA games are on sale. And they had this game, the Deluxe Edition and the Regular Edition, for not even more than, not even like $2. It was like a buck twenty-four for the Deluxe Edition of this game. How can you say no? So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? It's like a dollar. Don't you have EA access? What's the point when you can get it, like, for a dollar? Isn't it for free? I in the guarantee ball? you, he already access? has it on his yeah, Xbox. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you just decided I, to give him money anyways? Yeah, it's, it's a, like, I know how some of you guys say Titanfall 2 is, like, the underrated game from, like... Or the best shooter yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah. But this is, like... One of like my underrated games, I think. I think I always really enjoyed it. Well, this is like a third-person hero shooter, essentially, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you choose your character, and right, and they Each all of have, them have their own abilities and stuff. And yeah, 
I never I tried mean, it, but definitely... it, it, I mean, it sounded cool. Maybe we try it for a community oh. play. It's a guilty pleasure that game. It is. Uh, it is good. I remember playing it. Yeah, it's it's well done. I mean, yeah, like right now they have this like weekend kind of community event where there's like one multiplayer mode game that you have to play and try to get up to 200 kills on and if uh there's like a community goal and once that's reached there's three chests in each level like of like the chest is just better rewards and i went in there and checked it and all like the community itself like reach the goal so but you still have to do your fair share of the 200 kills no matter what just so you unlock it yeah so i just went and did that and just get like these like three like free like really good chests out of it which are like in-game currencies uh they're very big on skins and like little cosmetic stuff for your plant like goofy hats sunglasses whatnot it sounds to me like you just can't wait for modern warfare to come out and this is yes. filling your cod void right now <laughs> this is i need a, need a shooter i need to life. shoot at something so i pick something, up yeah. plants for zombies i want to win shiny things by killing stuff so uh, that's hilarious want the loop it was funny yes. that you just said like, "Hey, it was under two dollars. I had to buy it because I bought. I've got this uh, freshly wrapped copy of Fallout seventy six on my desk that I picked <laughs> up on Amazon for what amounted to a dollar and sixteen cents. Nice. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm ever going to take this thing out of the shrink wrap, but uh, I'm not going to say no for a dollar sixteen. That's like getting all the Fast and the Furious movies except for eight for sixteen dollars. Yeah, what a just. Some deals you can't turn down. The value exactly. in that package. Yeah, I could sell it again for twenty bucks and make money, and still have all the digital copies. Yeah, chop it down, Moose. Chop it down. <laughs> sell it individually. <laughs> Five bucks a piece for each Fast and the Furious Create movie. Create my own jewel cases. Oh my god! I could print you out some artwork. I'll send right. it over. Perfect. Oh, uh, that's awful. <sighs> okay. Um. I did want to say, I, I should have talked about this before we started talking about gaming, but um, this past week I was in Seattle, um, and I got to meet one of our community members, somebody that you had met before, Moose, uh, but I, Arrow Ben, yeah, I met him out in Seattle. We went what a to, guy. He, what a giant man. Oh, dude, he's huge, isn't he? Because <laughs> I'm a big guy, and he like towers over me. I posted a picture in Discord, and I was like, I swear to God, I'm not a midget. Ben is just <laughs> the biggest human being I I've think ever he's like been around. I think he's like 6'7". Yeah, he's he's a giant man. Wow. I mean, you look like you were sitting down I, risky. I do, dude. To, I, like, I, I'm five ben. nine. I'm not short. I'm not like I'm pretty average. And then he's just literally a foot taller than me. It's like, oh my god. Uh, he's yeah, a big dude. Couldn't nicest, be a nicer guy though, right? Nicest guy ever. Uh, we went to a. It was like a board game. I wanted to say cafe, but it wasn't. A, it was like a full blown restaurant. We sat down and had like sandwiches and uh, Meg him and i played uh played a game of sagrada or something um ate our food and just had had some nice chats so it was really good i this is the first time i've met somebody in the community in person and it was uh it was a real cool experience he wasn't a serial killer i think that's what meg was uh, real worried about she's like (laughs) so yeah we're going (laughs) to a restaurant to meet a man on the internet that you've never met before Yes. Yeah, I met him in Denver at a playground to meet, uh, for our kids to play. So, <laughs> oh. thanks for the context. Yeah, exactly. Then. Yeah, Ben's a great dude. It was nice meeting him. Um, if, if I'm ever in your city, uh, hit me up. Definitely would like to grab a drink, grab dinner, whatever. Because that was a lot of fun, and Seattle's awesome. I don't know why anyone lives anywhere else. Everyone I mean, should just live in there? Seattle. Um, it rained one day, and That's it was it? it was yeah, dude. It was it was That's great. One thing Ben said was that it's kind of like you have these you have like summer those three months right. where it's like they're beautiful. You barely get any rain, but then it's like the rest of the year you kind of just get like a misting all the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's we lucked out with drizzle. the weather. It was it was beautiful. That whole that whole vacation is great. Went to the Microsoft campus. Uh, and checked out their like visitor center. This is kind of funny. So they have this row of chairs, uh, kind of set up like an esports thing, where it's like there's four on each side, um, and people can just be playing whatever. So I sat down at a chair just because why not, and clicked yeah. on the. You know how you can click on your like Game Pass games and like just look at what you have in Game Pass or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I clicked into that, and then <laughs> an error message popped up and said that my Game Pass subscription <laughs> was up. 
while I was at the Microsoft store, like it on expired. their <laughs> on their account, like they had an update. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did like, you try how? signing in with your account or no? No, I didn't, because okay. it was kind of like oh, I could be playing Xbox at home. I should, right. should probably go look at some of the other stuff around here. It's cool. Their visitor center is just kind of like a museum of ancient Microsoft artifacts and. It was it was awesome. That whole vacation was great. But hey, it's good to be back at my Didn't battle you go out station there for a, a soccer game or a yeah, I went out there for a uh, Sounders game. That gotcha. was that was a rough soccer game to watch. Did they lose? Yeah, they lost two to one. That was their first home loss. It was funny when we went out to general Ben. He's like, "Make sure they don't lose. That'll be their first home loss this year." And I was like, "Yeah, no problem. Oh, we'll be fine." <laughs> and then they lost. So, hey, dude. Whoops. Um, well, you won't be invited back. No, I'm done. Seattle does not want me back there. Right, because the New Yorkers showed up in rave green for a Seattle game. I didn't belong there anyways. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Anybody else have any other games or anything they want to talk about before we move into the news? Nope. Good to be nope. back. No. Nope. Good to be back. Agreed. I appreciate you both being back. I struggled you last week. You did a week. great job, Chocolate. Chocolate, you had, like, whooping cough. There's not much you could have done to salvage <laughs> that episode. <laughs> <laughs> should have handed over the reins. Uh, should have just taken a week off. Anyways, let's get into some news. All right, Chocolate, what is in the headlines this week? Doom Stealth Drop. Oh, yes. This is some fun news. This past week, to celebrate Doom's 25th anniversary, Bethesda Stealth Dropped not just Doom 1, not just Doom 2, but Doom 1, 2, and 3 on all consoles. Um, 1 and 2 are 5 bucks, and Doom 3 was 10 bucks. But the good news here is that you can now play Doom 1 through 3 on your toilet while you're playing the Switch. So... Why not? Or you could have played it on your TI eighty three. Uh, yeah, I probably could have done that as well. I should have just cracked open the case at the Microsoft Museum and just be like, "Hey, I'm going <laughs> to use this quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got a quick game of Galaga and some. Doom. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, yeah. So uh, Bethesda put out Doom one through three on all consoles this past. They didn't say anything about it, but it was the twenty fifth anniversary of Doom, so it kind of makes sense. And it's um, QuakeCon this weekend, I believe. Okay, so maybe mm-hmm. that running up into that nice little drop for everybody um yeah so doom one two and three go play them on all consoles because they're there now i think you can actually play them if you play doom on uh the xbox just the the new doom that came out in 2016 they have like the little arcade things like uh Wolfenstein, oh actually they? inside of the game yeah oh amazing That's, i believe so or maybe i'm mixing the two it might just up. be doom one maybe yeah it'd be pretty crazy if you could play doom 3 and inside of doom <laughs> right. 2016 game but yeah those games only take up like less than a gig of memory yeah they're time i mean like you said we can probably play them on calculators at this point so yeah exactly <laughs> all right uh that's it for that though um so next up another gta story gta casinos blocked yeah so this kind of you guys touched on this last week uh gta had their big casino update um, and it turns out a lot of countries are making it uh, impossible for people to buy in-game casino chips with real money due to gambling laws in those countries. Uh, it's, I think, 54 countries when I looked at this article last. Um, so the players in those countries, they they can go into these casinos. They can spend their, um, their in-game money that they already have in the casino or whatever. But when they go to buy new chips with real life money you can't do that there and they get an error that says it's not available um because that's direct gambling right that's literally but you can't take the money back out so it's the worst kind of gambling right <laughs> yeah it's like a claw machine basically yeah so spend your real money to get fake money to either win or lose your fake money but yeah, there's like I, I believe there's like exclusive slot or like cosmetics that you can only win by winning the jackpot in the slot machine and like thirty things like that. Right, and I t- to be fair, it's all stuff that you could be doing with money that you're making other ways inside of the game. Like right. no, nobody's forcing you to buy these shark cards uh, or buying the in-game chips or whatever. 
Um, but because of this, I don't know, Rockstar probably thought ahead of time. I was like, man, this probably isn't going to – like, in a, the world we live in right now where loot boxes and, gam- like, online gambling, all this stuff is under such scrutiny, and Rockstar right. is just like, uh, hey, maybe we should just drop an online casino where you can spend real money to just gamble it away or win just – in-game stuff that doesn't cost us like of course they would do that of course this would be the dlc that they drop in 2019 i think uh, at some point that uh gta is just gonna become the oasis from uh, uh from ready, ready player, player one, player one. <laughs> 100%, everybody just dude. throws all their money into the game it's and forgets G- real life gta 6 exclusively <laughs> in vr headsets hat suits and everything Yep. Um, Rockstar did put a system in place that uh, it kind of limits the amount of chips you can buy uh, in the game. And it's 50,000 chips at the max. That's when you're like a VIP and an owner of a penthouse and all this weird stuff. Um, so you can buy 50,000 chips per once per in-game day. <laughs> and the in-game days are 50 minutes. So or right around 50 minutes. No, wow. so, so you're really not stopping. Like, if somebody has a hardcore gambling addiction, that's not going to stop them. No, well, they'll I, go find something else that doesn't have to trickle the 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 what is it the goods into them, right? Or or they'll spend 50 minutes blowing that 50,000 chips and then be ready for a refresh after the 50 minutes. Like, what? So or all of a sudden you'll see more GTA games being sold with the air quotes add-on shark cards dude so yeah. that, and their sales will spike again oh my god it's so funny because uh, again just reddit can be the best place and the worst place simultaneously all the time but i was looking through there about this story and there's legitimately people looking at ways to wander money into the game uh so people are talking about buying the shark cards to then purchase things like super nice cars in the game and then selling those super nice cars in game at a loss at a loss uh so that they then have credits to go gamble in the online casino is it that like what? the definition of money laundering yes it's <laughs> it's blowing my mind just the amount of news and just static around this whole gta casino thing is just oh uh, it's the funniest stuff ever that seemed to be all the news in any of the podcasts I listened to last week. That's yeah. all everybody talked about was the, the dirty casino in GTA. The amount of money people are losing in game and then also in real life is just astounding. <laughs> so dumb. It's ridiculous. And it's it's weird for people that so I've got two friends that are like they own video game consoles or whatever and play things here or there. They're just super out of the loop as far as uh gaming news and whatnot and i had both of them message me on separate occasions last week was like yo i heard there's an online casino in gta like and they want to know how it worked because they were under the impression that you could actually take money out like it was like it was a legit yeah casino where you put in money and then you can withdraw real world money so i'd explain were they looking to card count count card counting and stuff like that i'm sure you can't do that against (laughs) machines can can you do that i don't know (laughs) It's all RNG. Attempt at joke. <laughs> okay. Swing and a miss, strike one. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, having to kind of explain to these guys, was it's the weirdest thing. Like, no, you, it, this isn't just a casino. Like, another, I, I can give you a website if you want to go play some three-card poker. Uh, can you guys still not do FanDuel up there? Uh, we can. Oh, you can? Yeah, we just can't bet on New York teams. Oh, well, that's silly. I, I think that's changing because we're supposed to have, like, our local casino that's, like, 30 minutes away. Um, they've already built their wing of the casino that's going to be book. for sports. Yeah, nice. like a sports book. So it, it's there. We're just waiting for the legislature to go all the way through, I guess, or something. I don't know what we're waiting on, but that's might be how I spend a, a Sunday here and there on football season. <laughs> nice. During football season. Um, yeah, so not much more to that story. The whole money, money laundering thing, like buying the cars, just cracks me up. That's ridiculous. Uh, hysterical. But I, I still have to check that out. I know I told Ryan that I was going to have time to go check it out. Ryan, I'm really sorry. He's been playing Witcher, bro. But and I, you I, need to get good at uh, Shriek or Supermarket Shriek anyway. <laughs> so. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my quest to uh, make Triss love me, so... Which I bet Ryan can help you out with hard. that. I'm sure he could. I'm sure he's got all. Yep. Um, 
All right, next story. Joy-Con drift. Moose, you're suffering from this, aren't you? Yes, I need to get on top of this. Um, yes, this is uh, this is cool. quite the little story. So I'm just going to kind of go through the timeline, uh, the takeaways I had from this whole thing. Right. So uh, a couple weeks ago, Kotaku published an article about Joy-Con drift and how big of an issue it actually is. Um, and that whole article kind of took off. It went crazy. Uh, people on Twitter were posting videos of drift. There was one kid that was like, I own eight joy cons and six of them have drift issues. Like they just, they really stirred things up, made everything super loud. Uh, so Nintendo obviously heard this, but so did the law firm chemical right. Schwartz, Crimer and Donaldson Smith. What a name. You should probably fire a couple people. So that's not such a mouthful. I don't know. You make partner. You want your name on the sign. That's I've watched suits. I'm well aware. Um, <laughs> So they filed a class action lawsuit against Nintendo of America over the Joy-Con drift issue um, that's been plaguing countless Switch owners. Guilty. Um, it, it was kind of just like, hey, you're selling us this stuff and it doesn't work. And then you're charging us to fix it. Right. Um, not great. And, but because this, you have the lawsuit, you have everybody yelling about it on the internet. And then on Tuesday... Uh, the news outlet Vice was sent an internal memo from Nintendo, uh, and this is what it said. Customers will no longer be requested to provide proof of purchase for Joy-Con repairs. Additionally, it is not necessary to confirm warranty status. If a customer requests a refund for a previously paid Joy-Con repair, confirm the prior repair and then issue a refund. Um, also, it says something in there like, if people are complaining about Joy-Con drift, believe them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like made in the the you know the internal issuance to the, all the employees. Like, don't right. think like, they're bullshit. Pe people either. aren't lying about <laughs> right. this. It, it's a real thing. Um, so after that private memo had leaked to Vice, uh, a few hours later, several hours later than that, I guess, Nintendo finally released an actual statement. It said, "In Nintendo, we take great pride in creating quality products, and we are continuously making improvements to them." We are aware of recent reports that some Joy-Con controllers are not responding correctly. We want our consumers to have fun with Nintendo Switch, and if anything falls short of this goal, we always encourage them to visit, uh, and then it's their support website, so that they can help. Um, and now, as of now, if you go to the Nintendo website, if you click on uh, it's support.nintendo.com, uh, if you go there, first they'll make you go through some troubleshooting steps. Uh, maybe there's a way to fix the drift by recalibrating, it sounds like. Pretty much no one has gotten their uh, Joy-Cons fixed that way. Uh, but after that, you can finally click to send them in. They'll provide you with a prepaid shipping label uh, to get that taken care of. So th that's really the, the gist of the whole thing there. Uh, if you have Joy-Con drift issues in any capacity, you can now send them to Nintendo, and they should take care of that uh, for free. Yes, it took the threat of a some class legal, action lawsuit, yeah, class action <laughs> lawsuit uh, to maybe get their butts in gear on this. But uh, at the end of the day, no one should have to worry about that anymore. And, and it makes sense. And it, can you imagine with, they just announced the switch light. Um, if that was still an issue, then it's not, you can't just send in a joy con with that. If you have drift on the switch light, you're just kind of screwed. Cause I, think I know what's causing it. I'm listening. Because, um, you know, as a habit with anything with a screen on it, I always put it screen side down. So like that with the Switch, I put it screen side down, but then it's resting on the, the two thumbsticks for your Joy-Cons. Oh, God. you do. Ugh. So it basically is resting it in the up position for your left thumbstick, and that's what most people are having issues with is it's stuck going up. So I assume that, you know, it's just people setting down their switches and putting it down a little too hard to where it registers it going up and it just sits like that forever. So, you know, I don't know if dirt gets in underneath it or what, but that's what's causing it to drift. So I need to actually get a hold of Nintendo and send them my red one because luckily I have, you know, multiple sets of Joy-Cons in my house, so it's not crippling me. But it's, it's pretty unusable when it does do the drifting. Yeah, is that Cabo or chocolate you guys have drift issues at all because i i've got four joy cons and i i've had no issues with mine so no nah, mine are good so far yeah i've not experienced anything so far but i'm not a heavy user 
and you probably don't weigh your switch down on the screen like a monster. Oh, dude, I you know how many times <laughs> I've found that. my switch between couch cushions, too? I believe you. Yeah. So, oh, geez. No wonder why you got the drift. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's why I, I always buy the warranty on stuff because I know I'm hard on things and it will most likely be coming back and I'll need a replacement. Well, Moose, the good news, you no longer need a warranty for those Joy-Cons because they will be fixed for free. I know because I think my Target one just expired and I was too lazy <laughs> to uh, take it back before, I, you know. Just oh, get well. that fresh one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The uh, You got to pick up that Satisfy case I use. You can just stand that thing straight up. It's like it just stands there and it looks beautiful. Fair enough. Stands right up. It's real good. We'll, we'll talk more about switch abuse when uh, during questions. <laughs> For sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that that's that with the Joy-Con drift story. Okay. Next up, I want to do the impression, but I can't be bothered. Oh, come so on. The Rock. I might wake everyone up, so I best All not. Right, don't. Uh, <laughs> the Rock as Claptrap. <laughs> Um, so this is just a fun little story. The creative director of Borderlands 3, uh, Paul Sage, in an interview with Video Games 24-7, said that he wants The Rock to play Crap, cl- crap Trap. <laughs> Nailed it. Chaotic's going to be at your house in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's like one-star review. Uh, yeah, so he wants Crap Trap to... Uh, <laughs> he wants Rock to be Clap Trap in the Borderlands movie. Uh, the Borderlands movie is in production at Lionsgate. Um and then the only name we know on it was the Venom producer, uh, Avi Arid. So uh, there's that. Do you guys – well, because it was weird because what the guys said, what Paul Sage said was, yeah, our audio guys can pretty much make anyone sound like Claptrap. So I was like, well, why do you need The Rock to do this? I'm confused. And is this an animated feature or is this one of these you know, live action? Because there's no way you're getting The Rock to do a voice hour over – without putting his face all over that screen in a movie if it's not animated. Right. I, I have no idea. I think very little is known about this. Uh, one of the many, many video game titles in development or projects I didn't even know this was going to be a movie. And y- neither did I. Did you know that Monster Hunter is also going to oh, yeah. be? Yeah, that, that one I knew. Out, coming out for a while. Has it? Okay. Because the, the article I read through, it had like a list of five or six movies that were in development, uh, video game movies. And I was like, well, I didn't know half of these <laughs> were in development right now. So, but how much money are they going to have to offer the rock to play like a, that's you know, the other thing C, is C type character. You know, he's not a main character for sure. He's like, an it assistant. doesn't matter. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. How about a nice tall glass of shut the hell up. Right. Chocolate. <laughs> and he's gone. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that I, I don't see that happening. Sorry. Nope. They can't afford not the rock to do a, a robot voice for him. Nope, especially when like you kind of said it perfectly, Moose. Like Claptrap is not really like that main character, right. and for what The Rock has been playing much more lately, it's just I it don't doesn't think make he's really sense. Did you do, see like... him try to steal Moana? Yes. That movie's about a little girl, but it could have fooled me. <laughs> of course. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh boy, I might have missed this news story. Is chocolate around? There's a new dashboard for insiders on Xbox coming out. Uh, the only thing I saw about this, and Moose, you're the one who was talking about it, is that Cortana is no longer going to be Thank there. God. I know that much. So she's See ya. she's not going to pop up in the middle of my action pack. First person shooter. Yeah. Like God, a, dude, how many times has that happened to you? Ten people left in my game of Blackout, and Cortana's like, "How can I help you? <laughs> yeah. You can't. You can get off the screen, lady." Uh, so it sounds like she's going away. Uh, Chocolate. Is there anything you wanted to? I. I didn't see this. My bad. Uh, is there anything you want to add? I should have put it in there. I should have highlighted it. Um, th- they are bringing forward all the Microsoft yeah, stuff. Yeah, they want you to buy so, their stuff, so it's front and center. Oh, yeah, so it's it's pushing Mixer. They're pushing Game Pass, uh, I saw, Game right? Pass obviously. Yep. Yeah, so it's all at the front of the home screen. So instead of being up on the top where you would see... How did it used to be? I think it was like home... Yeah, there's just like then tabs at the top, mixer. right? Right. Yeah, so instead it's a, a few buttons on the left-hand side, but it's it's brought more prominent and more, I suppose, in your eye line than uh, And basically before. they just changed everything from vertical to horizontal is what it right. looks like to so me. So th- the picture I saw it had like your five, like PlayStation. your five most used things right. or five most recently used things are just going to be at the top now, which, which is fine, I guess. I it's, don't know, as yeah. long as I can hit the xbox button and have control that way like i love the little blade system once you hit the xbox button that's generally how i 
navigate right. everything on my Xbox. So as long as that's not changing and Cortana is leaving, this sounds like a great update. Yeah, I gave him a four out of five in the Insider program. So well, there you go. It's not terrible. Nope. Um, that is it, though, for video game news that uh, we here at Cross Atlantic Gaming thought was important this week. Slow summer. Yeah. Um, all right, Moose. How about some new games that are coming out this week? Let's see. Coming out this week, uh, Trine 3, The Artifacts of Power, coming out on Switch, 729. Uh, it looks like a uh, really well-detailed platformer with some good puzzle aspects to it. Um, I'm looking for it on a sale. Uh, we've got Forger also coming out on the Switch. This one's right up Risky's Alley. I would say uh, Forger looked awesome, and I didn't <laughs> buy it because I was like, man, that game would be way more fun to play on the Switch. It's, Here it we takes, go. Yeah, all your favorite aspects of Stardew and Zelda, and there's there's crafting, there's farming, there's yeah, that game uh, looks foraging. Awesome. So, yeah, if, you, if you're into the um, dungeon crawler type games, this one's right up your alley. It also comes out on the 30th for your Switch. Um, Madden comes out on August 2nd on all platforms. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be playing it. There's a 10-hour free trial for any EA Access members, so I will definitely put, be putting my 10 hours in, and I believe you can play it right now. So if you want to yeah. uh, get in early, you can try it out for 10 hours and check out you know, the new Madden, which is new, new nameplates basically on the jerseys as far as what I'm <laughs> yep. concerned. Do, they, do you know if they got rid of the, uh, the long shot? Or yes, they, they, they did. Did and they did some sort of um, first person uh, oh, simulator is this like where like, you pick your the college you came from and right. stuff. Yeah, and I then you actually so. go through the draft and all that. I'll have more info on it next week. I, I forgot to <laughs> yeah. download it and get into it, but I will right, definitely cool. give it a shot this week. The real football, huh? Ooh, I'm out. Yeah, the real actual fun football, and they actually get hit <laughs> instead of just tripping and falling and getting the magic spray to help them up. <laughs> I need some of that. I do too. It seems like it's like the, the best medicine ever, but I guess you have to have the that free health care over in the UK. That guy was on the verge of death, and I sprayed you, him with yeah. this. And Did he's you see his leg walking. was hanging off, and now he's running down the sideline? <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. Let's move swiftly on. Okay. Um, also, The Church in the Darkness is coming out on all platforms. Uh, it was new to me, but I went ahead and checked out the trailer. It's basically a... A new community that wants to start out in like Wyoming or something, and they're a socialist community, and then they all believe that the apocalypse apocalypse is coming, and basically hilarity ensues. <laughs> Not really; it's it's a pretty dark game. So, I said nothing sounds funny about this. <laughs> no, what? and it's it's the same kind of artwork as like for the king and Ashen, to where it's you know it's got the polygons, but they're like. I don't know. Shiny. New age, the yeah, new exactly. age polygon art. Exactly. It's supposed to look old but new. So you can check that out too. Um, I'm definitely going to skip it. It looks a little bit spooky. Way too so. spooky. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for that, That's Moose. That's about it for games out this week. I think Madden 20 is probably the big one there. Yeah, exactly. I guess. All right. Well, hey, this is the last episode of the month, which means this is a mailbag episode. You've got mail. All right, mailbag time. This one comes in from Ladonian. How many times have you dropped your Nintendo Switch? I'm going to start with Moose because <laughs> if anyone's dropped their Switch multiple times, I feel like your household is probably the one where Dude. it would have been dropped the most. Oh, man. You know when you drop something, but you try to catch it midair and you just end up spiking it across the room? Or or like trying to stop it with your foot <laughs> your and then punting yeah, it on X. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I've done that with my Switch a few times. I would say my Switch has probably hit the ground probably like between five and ten times i'm pretty careful with it and i i really try not to let my kids touch it but i do my best you just told me you're pretty careful with something that you've dropped five to ten times yeah that's a you know it's a handheld how many times you dropped your phone surprisingly not as much <laughs> as time or like you would once think. or twice in Are the last serious? 10 years i don't know yeah I don't. no way you don't put it on your lap and get out of your car and <laughs> no they make things like magic mounts where you just stick them up on your dashboard and they just stay there oh sorry i don't lap. have two lake house money to buy all oh, these gadgets the... and gizmos oh, for my car a fight for a different <laughs> time <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> low blow <laughs> 
Uh, no, and, and I've never dropped my Switch either because <laughs> I don't. I've also, to be fair, I've I may have used my Switch without some type of grip or like a yeah a grip, I guess, or like a case grip. Uh, maybe like the first couple months I had it. Uh, after that, I've always had some type of case that also includes like grip on the back because I never put it in my dock, uh, like very rarely. So like right now, it's in this case that I have it in, and I don't know the grips on it are humo- like there. I don't feel like there's no way I'm just gonna accidentally drop it. Maybe knock it off like a counter or something. Maybe, but I'm not just gonna right. drop it. I'm not an animal. No, I don't just drop it, but you accidentally knock it off, or you're trying to dock it, and my dock's way above my head, and I try to put it up there, and sometimes you know I dropped it once, and that's when I slapped it across the room. <laughs> And other times I've got my switch and my phone and other things stacked in my hand, and I try to Just one slides know. off the other. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how I broke my first iPad. There's also carrying Ooh. cases for this thing. Do you have a screen protector on one. your switch? No, no. Yeah, taking I have a, the preventative yes, measures I, here. Dude, did you not read my article? Yes, I did. You okay. Have all the best stuff. Pockets. <laughs> yeah. Pockets. Yeah. Phone in your pocket. Yeah. They're talking about the switch well, risk- pocket. I'm like, what? I was like, I can't fit my switch with the grips in my pocket, chocolate. I don't know. I can fit, fit my switch in my back are. pocket. With with the Joy Cons on? Yeah. And you wonder why you have drift. Dude, I told <laughs> oh you I'm God. hard on stuff and I buy the warranties. <laughs> and no, what do you want from that's me? That's smart. If I lived like you, I would buy way more warranties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I they'd make break tests for people like me. A hundred percent. It's just, All right, Chocolate, oh, wow. how many times have you dropped your Switch? I don't think I have. All right. You guys are such Good winning. guy. What the hell? What do you mean? We treat our expensive <laughs> electronics with care. Try it sometime, oh. you animal. <laughs> My controller, I've dropped loads. I've definitely dropped a controller once or oh, twice. Yeah. It's tough to drop it when I'm at my desk. A lot of time what ends up happening is my headset gets ripped off my head because it's still attached to my controller that's at my desk. Oh, yeah. They ever spiked the controller? Out of anger? Yeah. <laughs> no. I nope. never have either. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna lead to a. I, I, I no, dude. Be... I've beat I've beat people at Madden like friends back in like high school and stuff, and they've spiked my controllers before. Oh, your controllers. Oh yeah. That's it how is. you ruin friendships. <laughs> yeah. No, I just take theirs. I bring mine over and take theirs the next time I go. Yeah, to Yeah, or here, give me sixty dollars quick before you leave. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> this kind of reminds me of something. Uh, just quickly off topic, well related. I was there was a little rabbit hole of YouTube I was watching for a little bit, and it, it ended up with me watching like compilation videos of Gamer Rage. Smash tournaments. Yeah, <laughs> ma- yeah, Smash tournaments. And my God, like they're just smashing the the like controller. One guy like punched a TV. Dude, like, that Madden thing last year. That guy got shot. Two guys got shot. Oh yeah, that was. But that was last year, I think, right? Right, yeah. It was in, like, yeah. uh, Jacksonville or something right. like that. Jeez. Yikes. And Cabo, did you say you dropped your Switch or no? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to say once, maybe, God. because I feel like if I say I haven't, I might be lying. lying. <laughs> I'm a horrible person, yeah. apparently. Yeah. That's what we've been telling you this whole episode, Boos. <laughs> but the new Switch is coming out. That's what I always figure is I'm going to get a two-year warranty on it. And by that time, there'll be a new one out, and I'll want that one. Pretty so. much covers you up until that time. Exactly. So yes. what you do is when you get your warranty and you get that brand new one, you just don't open it and sell it as a brand new in the box. Old Switch. Yeah, he's living in the gray areas. Always. It's my favorite <laughs> place to be. I know. All right. Um, this next one comes in from Super Catrix. If you had a gaming party, who would you invite? I don't even know how to interpret this. What? Like Jesus, would you bring Jesus to the <laughs> gaming party? Jesus would be terrible. The Rock. Uh, I'm just trying like Chris. Gaming characters? I don't I know. I think I would just invite you know everybody. I'd invite you three, and we would play Mario Party oh. whether or not you wanted to. Mm-hmm. And I'll spike oh. your controller. At least it's only a Joy-Con. I can say it has drift issues and get a new one. Hopefully, <laughs> a forty like eight pieces. Yeah, a forty dollar Joy-Con. Perfect. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I would just, you know, I like, I think gaming is more fun with the most people that you can fit into whatever game you're playing. So, you know, so we're going to play Jackbox oh. with everyone from the community in my living room. Perfect. I'm in your lake house. Yeah. I was going to say, lake which house. one, uh, big short or a little risky. Uh, the one in the Hamptons. 
You guys are the absolute worst, and for the record, I own zero lake houses. <laughs> Not yet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting for them to be mm. posted. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, anything to add to <laughs> who would you bring to your gaming party? <laughs> I would bring every. I would invite everybody. Right, Whoever that's didn't the want to come, community. that's fine. But, you know, we're all invited. And you can invite one famous and person. Who would you bring? Jesus. Oh, Joe, come on. Why would you bring Jesus? He would just be a wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, boy. It's Terry fine. Cruz. Ooh. There you go. Terry Cruz. That would be the And man. are you going to play... Uh, Yep. With Terry Crews. Yep. Uh, crackdown. crackdown yeah. That's what it is. Play some Crackdown 3 with Terry Crews. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So your party just is you and Terry Crews. I like it. You know who I would invite just because I know he's a gamer and it would be an anomaly is The Big Show. Oh. Is that a wrestling the wrestler? Man? Yeah, the guy that's yeah. like yeah. eight feet tall and weighs like 400 pounds. You don't I saw play him at the, the, slightly taller than I saw him at the Destiny 2 like reveal E3 mm -hmm. a few years ago. He was super geeked. That's awesome. He was actually at the Destiny thing recently. Oh, was he? Not that long. Yeah. Ago. I don't want to. I don't want to say Guardian Con because that just happened recently. Yeah. But something like they just did bunchy. Yeah, did. he's I a think big something Destiny to do with nerd. Shadow Keep. That uh, the Big Show was it? Does that mean said yeah, Big, big show? show? Okay. I feel like that's the guy. Like, if you were to play him one v one and you beat him, I'd be like praying for my life because I just feel <laughs> no. Like you you lose. The gamer that rage guy. would just be you lose on purpose. Yeah, I'd be wouldn't... like, oh, my controller just turned off. Oh darn. Oh, what happened? Well, I was gonna say he wouldn't spike your controller. He would just spike yeah, you. Pick you yeah. up. <laughs> I would like to think that I would just talk crap to him the whole time and then just still feel like I'm faster than he is. So he would tire <laughs> out at some point. I think I can run by the craft through. services table a few times and he'll stop. That's the difference between you and I. I'm not willing to take that risk. <laughs> <laughs> My cardio is not where it used to be. I'm not trying to run from any wrestler, man. Oh, scared cardio is completely different. You'll be fine. That's true. That adrenaline kicks in. Oh, yeah. You run bolt. for days. Yep. Um, all right. <laughs> um, oh, hey, this next one comes in from Cabo. And the question is, what food or drink will you not have anymore because of bad experiences you had with it? basically that it made you throw up with uh, like drinking or something i once drank a whole bottle of rum by itself and <laughs> Good for you i think i died maybe <laughs> um and now when i smell rum or i mean yeah it's pretty much even a smell or think about it i want to vomit so that's i don't touch it it's <laughs> what does uh vanilla coke do for you risky because i can't even smell that stuff is it because that's what you're mixing with the rum? Yeah, Captain and Coke, back from like 17. No, like I said. Dude, Coke's the best. Not 2017, uh, the age of 17. It was <laughs> 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 Two years ago, you were going hard on those. Guys. Oh, me and the captain. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, for me, that's what it is. Um, I also had this weird thing with Moe's. I got food poisoning from Moe's a real long time ago. Is that a restaurant? Uh, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a Mexican like a burrito okay. place yeah, yeah, yeah. um and got food poisoning ended up in the hospital because oh, i was geez. i got to the point where i was so dehydrated that i was they put like eight liters of iv fluid back into me it was i didn't eat mo's for probably three years i'm back on it now but that was one thing i just could not do so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the same way with chipotle i think i've gotten food poisoning from chipotle like two or three times and i just keep going well, yeah back. Didn't they have an e coli issue where they they weren't yeah, giving their they workers didn't have a lettuce place. for a while yeah. <laughs> they were just pooping in the oh. lettuce and then feeding it to people <laughs> <laughs> i think that's it yeah yeah <laughs> that's definitely the story uh yeah close it off but uh, no yeah, um, sound good kind of like you risky mine is jaeger i uh drank like a 750 a jaeger and had Black three throat. or four red bulls <laughs> with it oh, and then bro. passed out on the couch next to the bottles and cans and the smell of red bull or jaeger now just kicks in my gag reflex yep oh. i say i feel like these should all probably just be alcohol related because that makes the most sense to me <laughs> right but chocolate yeah. how about you Te tequila do, 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 can't do, do. <laughs> yeah can't do tequila <laughs> but for some reason whenever i go out drinking Everybody shots. always buys exactly. Always. Oh, I want to murder them. Oh, we'll at least them. they buy good stuff, right? That's yeah, why like Don Julio or 
No, nah, it's whatever. I'll take a. No, it's whatever's on the shelf. Anything. The well, the, well, the, the well Montezuma. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes yeah. in a plastic bottle, count me in. Does it taste like rubbing yeah. alcohol like all the other colored vodkas <laughs> or uh, colored alcohols in yeah. that bottle? <laughs> it's got a sombrero on it as well. Oh, the, all right. Let's move on. It's legit. Uh, Cabo, how about you? You have anything weird? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're my star. Right. That a boy. Get Just stay away from that stuff. Good thing they never made 100 proof of that, huh? Yeah, I, I remember just taking a swig one day, and I was like, oh, I, I almost like, I was like, I'm about to throw up already. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't even get hammered off of it? You just don't like it? I just don't, yeah. Well, well, I, no, I think that was that, after uh, the yeah. bad experience. Yeah, dude, I still yeah. have a buddy, like one of my best friends, like if we pregame or something or go to a Bronco game, he'll buy himself like a little 350 of Jaeger. And just take shots in the parking lot. And I'm like, you like, can't keep Whoa. that away from me at this point, friend. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude, drink a White Claw or a Truly, like a man. <laughs> oh, seltzers are all the rage. <laughs> I know they are. They're the new IPA. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid that I could be drinking this thing that tastes like mixed berry for an hour and then be dead on the floor because See, like, yeah, seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Whoa. We'll learn our lessons. Yeah, someday. All right, this next one comes in from Scottman. Should games have an option to allow players to enable tutorials, tips, slash hints, advisories for the duration of the game, or is it better to have the hand-holding fade out as the game progresses? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> grenade gate. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. So for you, would it have been good if the Division Two? had a <laughs> tutorial up just said, up hey, all tip. the time <laughs> that was like, hey, this is how you throw grenades. Is that something you could get into, you think? Why would they change the button for throwing Nobody your grenade? Changed just the leave button. it. They did, okay? <laughs> that is my story, and I'm sticking to it. So 100% Chavo so, wants this, yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think options are always your best bet. So give right. people the option to turn it on or off. Like, have it... Have the tips or whatever stay on for however long you intend them to be on. Have them cut out, but then give people the option to turn them back on if need be. I know that a lot of the times for me, if I'm going back into a game that I hadn't played uh, in a few months or something and I need a refresher, I usually end up going into like the settings, going into see where all the buttons are. Um, so being able to just enable it for that first 20 minutes that I'm getting back into a game, I think would be pretty awesome. Because you need a Netflix, Netflix. Uh, this is what happened yeah, on the last episode on. moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would be super helpful in like, like you're talking about, like with Witcher or Zelda or something like they that. They have Just it a, in The Witcher. A refresher. Yeah, it's like um, the loading screen. Yeah, when you're traveling, if I'm going from like Velen to a new area, or if I'm loading in initially for that playthrough during the loading screen, a narrator comes on is like this person was looking for this person and you're now at oh. this place looking for this person. It's like, Oh, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Unless I, I, I hadn't played for two years. And then I, even if you try to tell me where I'm at, I don't know right. where I'm at. So. And that's, I think it would be nice for two, two facets. One where it would be like an intuitive system. So if it sees that you're struggling at a part or, you know, say a platformer. Then or if it, you've it, been it, trying to throw grenades for 10, 15 minutes and still haven't figured it out. <laughs> right. Then something will pop up and say, hey, here's a helpful tip. Um, <laughs> this is how you throw grenades. Or they bring a little ghost up on your platformer and tells you, you know, the right rhythm or whatever to jump through the things. Right. I think that could be helpful, be but not, you know, be a nuisance and be up there all the time. So, like I said, be an intuitive to where it only helps you when you would actually need it. Yeah, there's definitely a perfect, opposed, there's a, right. there's a perfect way to do it for sure. But that's when the robots get too much brain power and take over. So we don't want that in line. And then, uh, also, you know, it's, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> it happens. <laughs> but, Cabo, uh, what do you, or go ahead. You, okay. Cabo, how about you? What do you what do you think about this? I think that's a good option to re-enable the tutorials. If, let's say, for example, you step away for, from a game for a little bit and you come back maybe, let's say, a month later and just be like, hey, this is how you do all this stuff again. I mean, it may seem like, oh, you move the left right. joystick. You'd be like, yeah, no shit. But it's still something just so you know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, that's exactly just so you, like, what I wanted to say. Because <laughs> a lot it. of it's just like, some of it might just be like, it, some games do have like like some button combinations are kind of ridiculous just to do a lot of stuff but not like division two the grenade button's pretty simple <laughs> to find 
<laughs> but, um, Thank you for this, Cole. Be here all week. You're welcome. Love you, chocolate. Or like a, a weird mm. one is w- with The Witcher, how B is jump, I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's just kind of – and any game where right trigger it doesn't make me shoot at something. Right. Like I, – Or I the grenade's on a different oh. button than it should it be. Like it should be on the left <laughs> bumper, right, chocolate? Not the, the arrow key. <laughs> Um, that weird, right? I hate you, <laughs> Moose. That game Bleed that we played for a minute the other day. Jump right. was on the right trigger, but yeah. it kind of kind and you of shot with like the right thumbstick, right? Yeah, That's how you, you it's aim like your a weird contra-ish game, but yeah. the jump was on the right trigger, so you never have to move your right thumb off the stick, which kind of makes sense, but still kind of weird. I don't want my jump up on a trigger. I think it's it's super weird. I don't know. All right. But, yeah, that, that's like what Cabo said. It'd be nice if, you know, the game kept track of, oh, you haven't played this game in six months. Here's a quick uh, run over of what the controls are. Or, hey, like you can you... just sleep after this fight and heal yourself as opposed Meditation. to running around with 10% Woo-hoo. health. Yeah. It took me, like, three days to play The Witcher to remember that. I'm out of health potions again. Why <laughs> yeah. can't I heal? <laughs> Why do I never have enough potions or food <laughs> to heal myself? All right. Um... Chocolate, you answered that? Oh, we answered that one for you. Never mind. Um, All right, moving on. (laughs) This one is from Trobador. If you could select a character and its abilities, but play them in another setting or game universe, what would you pick? His example was that, man, and this is like the best example, at least for a character. uh, He said, I would want to play Zelda's Breath of the Wild Link and play him in the Dark Souls universe. So having the ability... To use that like glider thing, climb anything, right. um, yeah, stuff like that. Is there anything, or if anyone has an immediate answer, uh, go for it. Uh oh. No one. All right, cool. So, the first thing I do. You guys remember the old? Uh, oh, what was the name of it? Uh, prototype. I think that was the name of the game. Mm-hmm. The dude that yeah, I'll play the dude yeah. that had like so, superpowers yeah. or. Ooh, as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, Spider-Man going into some games would be pretty sweet. Because I'm just thinking <laughs> of how to get different places. Like, if I had the prototype dude's, like, jumping abilities where he, like, jumps up onto skyscrapers and had that in, like, God of War or something like that, could be a lot of fun. Um, See, I'm thinking of Super Mario and uh, when you collect the star and you're invincible. And just put that in any, any game ever for you? What? <laughs> That's what I need. You know, I don't need the grenade button. I just need him. Run straight Put through. Put Bomberman in Division 2, so your only ability is throwing grenades slash bombs. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, Cowboy Moose, you guys got anything? I'm thinking right now. Uh, it's a difficult it. one. Char right comes now. up with some good questions that we like, should probably look at way ahead of when we're recording live. <laughs> I want to do like a like a Tony Hawk aspect, but in like the minecart levels of Donkey Kong. So you just want to be Tony Hawk grinding the minecart rails? Yeah, I'd just be doing tricks and stuff on the rails, and then I don't know. I have a terrible idea. I'll just be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we came, Sorry, Tro. We came up with like one mediocre. If you put all of our mediocre answers together, we may have come up with a a decent answer for you there, Tro. I hope we did. Um, Oh, this last one. Cabo, you really were hammering us this weekend, huh? I know, I was bored at work. Oh, nice. (laughs) Um, Yeah, cheers. (laughs) I'll even read this one for you. Where is your go-to place for game reviews? Um, Anyone have anything off the top of their head or any uh, YouTubers or anything like that? Go for it, Moose. Is it ACG? Yeah. Yeah, I like that guy's reviews. He's got a good cadence with his voiceovers. He covers, you know, the whole spectrum of the game as far as gameplay, graphics, sound. Um, it's just a well-rounded review that's like 10 to 15 minutes long. Isn't and his at, like a – or yeah, go for it. <laughs> at the end, it's kind of a pick up to buy it, rent it, or never touch it type. So it's not a, a number scale, but it's a, you know – I like those better than here eight out of ten because what's your eight compared to my eight or, you know, that's kind of what I go on is his and then I as far as the eShop deals, I always watch beat 'em ups. Um, he's oh, I love yeah, he's, he's great. He's got great energy. Um, he's got an 
Australian accent that's not hard to listen to. And um, he just always seems to be in a great mood, and he's he's got his you know his ear to the ground as far as Nintendo Switch, so he always knows what's up and what good games to get and what's on sale. So this is kind of funny and kind of some inside baseball here, but as far as ACG went, when we were first trying to figure out what to call the podcast, uh, one of our options was Atlantic Coast Gaming. <laughs> and then we were right. like, ACG. I was like, no, that, that dude's already on YouTube. So we went with uh, the one that nobody's heard of. We went with CAG. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Cheap ask, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess some other guys there, from huh? Syracuse, I heard. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, ACG is great though. Um, I would say Skill Up. He doesn't do a ton of reviews, but um, the reviews he does are usually super in depth, which I kind of like. He did a, it was like forty minutes, I want to say, on uh, near Automata. That's what it was, uh, and that pretty much made me buy that game listening to him just rave and his he's always got those great clickbait titles or like this is the greatest game on the playstation right now it's like okay i'll listen but just the amount of detail he goes into um for all of his reviews and he doesn't like you said with acg he doesn't put a score on it or anything it's kind of just his critical unbiased uh review right. of games which i appreciate uh once in a while i will go to like the bigger outlets that do give scores just because it's like well if IGN and GameSpot both gave this game a four, I probably don't need to dive any deeper into this. But something where it's kind of like they might put it at a seven, it might make me go look somewhere else uh, for something a little more critical. Um, yes, yeah, skill up's really good though. How about you, Cabo? Uh, the before you buy guy. Uh, I think yeah. going to whatever the, the one where like the the thumbnail of every youtube video is just like the guy in the suit holding his hands with out the and head the, on the top head is always with like whatever character <laughs> yes. it is Ga is that game that ranks? I... yeah game ranks I... okay yeah that that's good stuff okay. yeah i actually and moose is probably gonna be like yeah right uh they did one they kind of made me excited to play xenoblade Chronicles yeah, right. too because of their <laughs> <laughs> you totally just discredit <laughs> them 100 <laughs> percent because they, they were like, this is a really good JRPG game. It's probably one of the best Switch JRPGs out there so far. it's a pile so of hard. hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. When I, I remember one of the videos I saw was because of that. And I was like, oh, shit. I forgot who I'm talking to. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> That's... Oh, I do have an answer for Trovador's question. Oh, let's hear it. Perfect. Geralt of Rivia in Skyrim. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. To just actually have a good character. <laughs> and like fight him trying to see how he is against dragons and stuff right. like that yeah that's good uh, do you think he would be able to master the dragon shouts 100% have you heard his voice I have and that yeah definitely <laughs> easy answer but he's always had a smoldering <laughs> whisper I've never heard him get loud have you it does take a, yeah because he really. doesn't need to fight with his words he'll just cut no. you in half exactly <laughs> I that don't need to raise sword, my voice. Right? If you raise your voice... Oh, Silver Sword. <laughs> oh, I should have talked about that earlier. If you don't know where to find the Silver Swords in The Witcher 3, you need friends that can help or you Reddit. out. Or Google. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One or the other. Um, Rissy posted, where do you find uh, Silver Swords in gaming, I think. And I just DM'd him basically a whole subreddit. I was like, got this from the internet. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks, Moose. I could have Googled it myself. I was looking for some input from friends. Was it who helpful? Like, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sure it was. It was. It was. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> God. Um, Chocolate, are you here? Yes. Do you have a, uh, play, a go-to place or content creator uh, for reviews? This is terrible. My preferred method is yourself, Moose, people who are on my style of gaming. So if I want some platformers... You and Moose, I wait for you two to tell me what Why to is grab. That terrible. You just yeah. made us sound like we're the well, worst. I know. We're, no, we're experts <laughs> at platformers, so you should Stoop trust your, our opinions. Stoop low here, guys. Uh, yeah, really a backhanded compliment, maybe. Who knows? Back, yeah, sure was. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I needed that cough. Um, yeah, so I just uh, people within the community that have got the same kind of style and games that I like. I normally see what they think of. He counts on said uh, game trickle-down economic gaming. 
Yeah, normally I, I'm able to hit that uh, that sale time as well after uh, after you guys review it for. Yeah, me, we so we buy it full price, good. and then by the time we convince you to buy <laughs> no, it, it's bucks. half off. <laughs> at yeah, least. exactly. Uh, that's exactly. funny. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you're if you're in a community like ours or any type of gaming community, there'll always be people that will be convincing you to buy stuff you may not have bought before. So sometimes that works out. Uh, sometimes you buy nine parchments. So, dude, play the game. Quit talking <laughs> crap. <laughs> All right, Gunman Five, calm down. Um, <laughs> I beat both of them. <laughs> you did. I'm proud of you. Chocolate's How about you, never Chocolate? Finish the second one. Yeah, all right, that's going to be another breath of the hey. wild. Like, you know. This guy should be playing dodgeball or something. He dips, ducks, and dodges all these questions. He does. Speaking of dipping and dodging on out of here. Ooh, oh, we can't do that segue. yet because we have to uh, pick somebody here for something nice. Oh, ah, yes. Well, I forgot and about And Cabo is half of them, and he also is on the show. So Does not qualify. So. What do we do there, guys? <laughs> well, I know when my questions got read, I didn't qualify. So, <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Um, I want to say Scottman's grenade gate question. <laughs> the, uh, because it kind of threw some salt in the chocolate wound, yeah. and it's also a good discussion. Hey, um, anytime you can rip on chocolate, you might win a prize. So just keep that in mind. That oh boy, I can't wait for next month's <laughs> questions now. <laughs> Yeah, you remember, I'm the one that sticks these questions in, so they're going to start getting deleted. <laughs> Chocolate, how come only half the questions made it in this episode? No mailbag this yeah. month. <laughs> hmm. We are skipping it. Um, yeah, I think Scotman's a good one. Uh, that's a good game mechanic that if that right. was enabled in all games, uh, that'd be perfect. So, congrats. Chocolate, do you vote for that too? It's two versus three. It doesn't, we don't even have to <laughs> ask him, Moose. I know, I just want to hear Don't what he tell says. him. <laughs> Oh, chocolate, yeah. What? I'm just going to cough down the mic. <laughs> as loud as you can. I dig it. Yeah. Oh. You're good with that, though, right? Well done. Yeah, of course. Hashtag grenade gate. Congrats, comment. Make it real. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the questions this month, guys. <laughs> keep them coming. For yes. sure. Cabo, keep You're up welcome. the good work. You're a question master. Uh... I think this is my favorite segment, so don't stop asking questions, cops. Don't stop. Nope. <clears throat> um, all right, let's plug this thing up. We're going to throw the question in there? Nope, no questions here. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Um, head on over to crossatlanticgaming.com for links to everything. That's Discord, social media, YouTube, all that fun stuff. Join us on Discord. That's where we are all hanging out all of the time. So do that for sure. If you want to support the show with your hard-earned money, head on over to patreon.com slash podcast. And, of course, shout out to our top-tier contributor, Chaotic. Um, we are also, uh, of course, I have to talk about this since I didn't post anything this week. Um, we're putting up free content on Patreon. We're trying to do it once a week. Mine is a little late, but it will be there by the time you listen to this episode if you're not a live <laughs> listener. Just bought yourself two I'm more days. I'm saying that because it <laughs> buys me a couple more days. Perfect. Um yeah, and our game, well, not our, our, our Patreon drawing um, is two episodes from now. So you still have another two weeks if you'd like to get in on that. Um, and if you're not even, if you're not sure about stuff, just go over to Patreon, check out the different tiers, see the stuff you get. Um, there's rewards for Discord. There's maybe some tiers that give voiceover from Muse, or from Muse. Moose. Moose? That wasn't and close. I've been, been brushing up on my Dom this last week, so and I he, got some good quotes for you. He just recently watched all s- or well, I've, seven I've, of the six. Fast and the Furious movies. I, six, I'm, my I've bad. I've still got seven to watch. Not six because you skipped Tokyo Drift? No, dude. You never skipped Tokyo Drift. You never skipped Tokyo Drift. That's the best one out of all <laughs> of them. Oh, uh, here we go. Moose, did you, uh, didn't you binge a movie or series or TV show recently? Not the um, The Marvel <laughs> Universe? <laughs> yeah, there's like it. twelve Thanks, movies buddy. in a week and a half or something. He went through all that. Now he's going through all the greatest hits of Dom. Dude, I just fall asleep to his sweet, sweet voice. And that's what everyone on this podcast does every week. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you need to reach nice. out to us via email for any reason, cagpodcast at gmail dot com. If you want to find me, I'm at risky the kid everywhere. Chocolate, how about you? Uh, chocolate bear, eighty everywhere. Moose. 
Moosenstein, 8314, all platforms and social medias. And Cabo, if people want to uh, find you, if you want them to find you, where can they? No. <laughs> yeah, you can find me on Xbox and PlayStation under Kabowski. You can, we can learn how to throw grenades together in Division <laughs> 2. <laughs> Cabo's my favorite. Or if you, Zing. If you want to ask me on Twitter how to throw grenades, <laughs> it's under at Brad Kabowski. <laughs> oh, I love you so, too Sorry, much. Chocolate. Well, flamethrowers well, and grenades, well, it well. sounds like. Well, I never. He never comes on the podcast without his flamethrower, and I <laughs> love it. Cabo, thanks for being on the show, man. It's it's always, it's no always a great time. We'll have you on here. <laughs> thanks for having me, guys. We'll have you back soon. Thank you. No, we won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. <laughs> and thank you, dear listener, for tuning into this week's episode of Cross Atlantic Gaming. We'll catch you guys next week for an all-new episode. Goodbye. Peace. Later. See you. I'm going to start this week because I've got some gold. This, we'll, we'll be the judge of that. You know what? This is from my five-year-old little cousin, so if you don't like it, you can take it up with him, okay? <laughs> Jeez. I will. What do you call a mountain full of cats? What? A mountain. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh yeah. he said that. It was like out of the blue, and I was like, we do this weird thing at the end of our podcast where we tell these terrible jokes. That was perfect. You're my favorite. So this one may not uh, translate overseas, but uh, why do people in Athens get up early? I'm not sure. No idea. Because dawn is tough on Greece. Mm. Yep, that's a uh, a cleaning product joke. (laughs) Good one, too. I I like it. (laughs) But uh, I I swear, whoever invented knock-knock jokes should get a Nobel Prize. Uh, no bell. bell. Oh my God. Had, we've had God. that one before. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, I apologize. What about this one? What do you call? <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> what do you call Jeez. a gummy bear? Er, damn it! I just ruined it. <laughs> did you say the punchline? <laughs> yeah, I did. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy you'll bear. Never gummy guess. Bear. God, I suck. Yep, All right, so. see you next week. <laughs> you want to try this one? Yep. A slice of pie is two pound fifty in Jamaica, and three pounds in Bahamas. These are the pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, boy. Yeah, I kind of murdered that. Okay, yeah, I mean, if you didn't stutter or stutter like I just did through or that whole joke. use money that's real instead of pound <laughs> 50 or whatever the hell you just said. Wait, it does have the silly, stupid asterisk that you have above your money. <laughs> you know that The dollar one. sign? <laughs> yeah, the <that> rubbish. <laughs> what? what just <laughs> oh, he's dying again. Oh, um, yeah. I thought he got rid of that plague. If you take it nope. back a second and actually go through that joke, that that's that's quality. I like it. Yeah. No, oh, thank you. Cabo, you got anything? Why do you not play cards in the jungle? Why? Too many cheetahs. Oh, <laughs> oh yes! Brunch.